like in caves. Most animals and insects that live in cave environments do not utilize their sense of sight and instead have better hearing or sense of smell. Because sight is not useful, these organisms normally do not have functioning eyes, or even have no eyes at all. This can happen in fish that live in dark caves. Certain species of cave fish evolved from surface fish that had functioning eyes. Over thousands of years, the cave fish lose their eyes because they are no longer needed. Why and how does this happen? Organisms have traits that make them better suited to live in an environment. These traits are selected for by natural selection. That is, the organisms that have these traits are the ones that survive and reproduce most often. Sometimes not having a particular trait can also be beneficial to an organism. Not having eyes might be an advantage since it takes energy to make them. If you have functioning eyes but are unable to use them, why waste time and nutrients developing them? This is sort of like wasting money on a video game when you don't have the correct console to play it on. Better to save your money and use it on something more useful. This may explain why this happens. For how this happens, we need to talk about genes and traits. Many traits, like whether an organism has eyes or not, are determined by genes and determined by if the genes are turned on or off during the development of the organism. The end result, with or without eyes, is the organism's phenotype or how it looks. So the phenotype of the organism is determined in part by the action of the genes during the development of the immature fish. This is why it happens slowly over time. The fish doesn't just wake up in the morning with no eyes. Instead, the children of the fish will have slightly smaller eyes over each generation and this will be favored over time. The energy that originally went to make eyes is now being used in a more favorable way for the fish, increasing its chance of survival.